Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, back, back. <laughs> so today I am doing a makeup look using um, almost different brands in each step of my routine. I just want to draw, um, I just want to shine a light on some of the more affordable, budget-friendly makeup brands out there that you can purchase and use and still achieve a bomb ass beat face i feel like my past uh, tutorials and videos have been so like high in you know dedicated i just want to shine a light on some of my favorite affordable budget friendly makeup and brands that make amazing products that you can use so without further ado let's hop to it Okay, so I am priming my face with my NYX Angel Veil Primer. It's one of my favorite drugstore primers. It really keeps your makeup on, gives you a nice smooth finish, a veil finish. And it's not too matte and it's not too drying, but it's perfect for, in my opinion, any skin type. And I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'll apply that with a brush to the center of my face. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and press that in. It's just going to give me... A smoother appearance and fill in my pores which is mostly to the center of my face I'm using my L'Oreal true match foundation this foundation is bomb um, I feel like it was too light so I'm going in with an LA girl pro matte foundation again this foundation is amazing it's only like ten dollars I will leave the prices up so you can see the prices of these uh, makeup products so I mix them and I'm applying it with my brush at first and then I've been going over my sponge to blend that in, soak up any excess product, give me a smoother finish in the long run. And this sponge also came from Amazon. I'm gonna try and link it in the description box for you. I paid like $8 for five. Taking my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, another great product. And I'm applying it to the usual spots to conceal. And I'm using my fan to just let it dry off a bit so it can be more tacky that way i feel like it tends to get more coverage in the long run so that's what i'm doing right here i always like to let my concealer sit for a couple seconds or minutes it depends on the, the concealer that you're using though you can do that with every concealer that you're using so this one it works for it so i'm blending out um with a brush and then a sponge underneath my eyes pressing it in and i'm also going to apply it over my eyes to act as a base for my shadows later as well Using my ColourPop stick foundation, I'm applying that to the areas I want to like look more sunken in. And I'm gonna buff that off with a brush, blend it in upwards. This is gonna give my face more dimension. I love, love, love contouring. It's one of my favorite steps in the makeup routine. And I'm also um, doing my nose contour. If you wanna see an in-depth nose contour, how I contour my nose, Give this video a thumbs up and i'll do that for you i'm just using the butt of my sponge to just go over everything mesh everything so that everything is blended and there are no lines of demarcation taking off the excess crease but before i actually go into set that i don't want to set any creases i'm using my l'oreal infallible um powder and i'm applying that with a brush underneath my eyes i like doing that step i usually use my mac and um studio fix powder for that then i'm taking the maybelline fit me powder I actually mix two shades here. I think it's 25 and 30 because I feel like they give me the best uh, color payout. And I'm pressing that in with a sponge. You know, I love mixing my powders, you guys. I love mixing everything. <laughs> I like to customize. This powder is amazing. It's so smooth, so flawless. I'm using Maybelline Brow Tattoo, I think is the name of it. I've recently started to use that one and it's it's really nice it has this waxy consistency that i feel like when you brush it through your brows you don't have to set your brows in like after with a gel or whatever it just keeps your brows in place like a tattoo like really so i'm still experimenting with it so far i like it i'll see how i feel about it i'll probably update you guys eventually about it so i'm applying it and i'm spooling through that's the key for a puffy brow application spoolie and you can see there are different brow troubles moving on <laughs> eyes i told you i was going to use that palette again i love the palette so much the ColourPop orange glad palette i'm taking the shade 
creamsicle and i'm applying it in my transition area yes i brought you guys closer into my pores <laughs> and i'm buffing that in with um a blending brush i'm taking a different size blending brush and i'm using a deeper color to add more definition more um gradient to create more gradient with the colors and i'm basically just doing that throughout the eyes and just going with a deeper and a deeper and a deeper shade and i'm changing the brushes so that the intensity will be better different size brushes for each color that i choose to use here i'm using ya pill me it's the deepest color in the palette and i'm just basically applying them one on top of the other there's no science to it <laughs> I am however going to cut my crease today and I'm using the same concealer and I'm going to cut my crease. Make sure you take your time with this step. It takes time. It takes practice. Practice baby. Practice. So I'm just cutting that crease because I want to do something that's a little bit more dramatic today. And I'm filling it in. Then I'm taking the color Zested. It's a very light color. And I'm excuse the lighting and stuff. Like the lighting kept, you know, I don't know what was going on with the lighting. And obviously they're not picking up the colors right on, on camera. But I'm sitting there with this very, very light color. And I'm using like a shadow brush. And afterwards, I'll go in with a smaller brush closer to the line so that I don't get messy. So that I can stay inside the lines and fill that in. Then I'm going to go over with a glitter. The only glitter in the palette is a pressed glitter. It's very chunky and it's beautiful, but you got to be extremely careful when you're using glitters like that because they're so chunky. If they get into your eyes, they can cut your eyes. They are not totally eye safe. <laughs> then I'm applying the deepest color. Yeah, peel me underneath my eyes with um, a definer brush. I'm packing the color on first and then I'm going to use a pencil brush and buff it off because I like the look of a diffused bottom lash so I can bring it lower. I don't like it looking too harsh all the time. Buff for your life, baby. <laughs> then I'm taking Maybelline Gel Liner. Um, and I'm applying that in my waterline. I feel like going with a little black today. I love black in my waterline. It's my favorite color to use. I don't know if that would change anytime soon. And that's basically the completed look with the eyes. Um, that's what it looks like. Hmm, what was I doing here? <laughs> so I'm going to complete the rest of my face. I'm using Colourpop bronzer in bits and pieces, I think. I love that bronzer so much. I haven't used it in so long because Fenty took over this show. But it's such a great bronzer. And I'm just applying it to set where I applied the contour first. Taking Blushing in Bali from BH Cosmetics. And I'm using that blush to go over top on my cheeks. I love blush. I like the color to my skin. Makeup makes your face look so flat. And then I'm using NYX. Um, who says NYX anymore? Damn it. NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Because I still felt like my face felt too dry. So I'm just using something with a little dew. And I'm drying that in. And when it's halfway dry, I'm taking my sponge. And I'm going to press the rest of the product in. This just helps to melt everything nicely. See what me I say? <laughs> I'm using this lash primer from L'Oreal. I've been using that a lot lately. I'm just priming my bottom lashes before I actually go in with my mascara. I just thought I'd show that step on camera since it's sped up. So I could talk about it a little bit more. Taking Essence Lash Paradise Lash Princess Mascara. I'm just prepping my lashes for lashes because I am using false lashes today. Yes, I am. <laughs> Going back in with the palette, I'm taking these two highlight shades and I'm applying it to the tops of my cheek my chin i love a highlighted chin i really do this palette is amazing some bh cosmetics check it out and i'm also applying some of that same highlight color on the inner corners of my eyes on my nose just to create some uniformity with the entire look all together taking this lip from wet and wild and persimmon it's such what and wild makes such beautiful lipsticks and they're under three dollars you could get them cheaper for on sale because they're always on sale what and while always have a sale somewhere and i'm applying this to my lips and i'm showing you the struggle of applying a lipstick without a lip liner but it turned out pretty fine so i'm just neatening the lines filling them in blending making sure everything is in place you see what i say now i'm going back in with my um bottom lash mascara favorite of all time remember lash accelerator i love this mascara for my bottom lashes 
I'm applying these lashes that I bought from Shop Missy. I spoke about Shop Missy before. They're like a dollar. Almost everything on that side is a dollar. This is my second time using these lashes. Kiss makes very nice lashes as well in the beauty supply store. These lashes are amazing. I love them. They're a little bit dramatic and I love the drama. Trust me, it's so beautiful. Check out Shop Miss A if you haven't. They make wonderful products. Um, but I wouldn't say want everything is wonderful. It could be a hit and a miss, but check them out. And that's a completed look. That is it. I enjoyed filming it. Check out some of the products if you haven't, if you don't have them, if you're on a budget, if you want things that are inexpensive, check them out. I will list them in the description box. See you later, guys. Bye. Okay, so that's it. That's the completed look. All affordable, budget-friendly makeup that you can use to achieve a bomb as beat face. You do not have to break the bank to achieve a nice makeup look hi if you're new here my name is rachel welcome to my channel everything i use will be in the description box so be sure to check that out all the links to my social media platforms i am a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in brooklyn so i'll always leave the link in the description box of how to book me follow me on my social media platforms and see my work please don't forget to like comment and share it really helps and i really appreciate it help me to meet the millions that i intend to meet here one day on this platform some videos in my eye cards is that i would see on the top and i will also leave some in my end screen that you can click to continue watching while you're on my platform you know what i mean you know, Mommy, you know. You know. let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next tutorial next week bye guys <laughs>